Sorry, my video got interrupted by a phone call then because I do my videos on my Blackberry. Um, this is uh, Andre on Wanda, and then he's another mega colon disease rabbit. Um, but he's got the opposite problem to um, Chanel and Valiant in the fact that he gets big poos. Um, still a little bit soft, but um, it's actually a lot easier to sort his problems out because he just needs lots of vegetables um, normally um, and it keeps his poos in the right shape and form uh, again very contradictory would lots of vegetables help Chanel and Valiant when they've got really soft squidgy poos because of course normally we'd say cut down vegetables um, but it's more to do with the gut and not absorbing the fibre properly so they come, the, the poos come out fibreless. Um, anyway, oh, all right, all right. Over here, <laughs> we've got. Um, <clears throat> are you thirsty? We've got cute little darling um, Dodger, who's trying to get water out of the water bottle. I'm sure there's a water bottle to be honest. There we see. Hello, darling. Um, he came from a breeder and. A lot of his relatives and him were just very weak specimens. Um, some got homed, um, but uh, you know had dental disease or, or what not. Um, and again, he seems to have some sort of liver problem. Uh, again, try and keep his weight on him. So he's up here. He was down the rescue for a long time, um, but again. Oh my God, to have a room in the house where he could run around, keep warm and have lots of pampering TLC. But again, he's on and off medication. So if someone was to take him on, he'd be expensive. They need to be competent, have a decent vet. And this is big fat friend. The problem with him also is where I've been him ad lib, his friends getting overweight, but do I separate them? Do I feed them separately? Um, so much hard work and so much maintenance. Um, stupid thing is, uh, at one point I actually put him with her because they both were fat. <laughs> um, anyway, he's a beautiful little darling. Um, but I know she'd be a lot happier if uh, they were down the rescue running around or not as uh, near me. Um, of course, a lot of the older ones don't care to run around as much and just want to, you know, lie on fluffy blankets and stuff. But again, do I euthanise him? Or do I keep him this four foot two for hut with occasional exercise? Neutered, vaccinated, good quality diet. Is that enough? Maybe everyone can help me decide. Don't they, darling? Then last but not least, um, and this is again a short term thing, so that's fine. Um, <clears throat> but I've been trying to bond, and you can't see it at all actually. <laughs> We're trying to bond two little wild rabbits. Um, they've been getting on in here. One's a spayed female, one's not spayed yet because she's quite scared and wanted to get her strong enough before I spayed her. Hope to bond them with Tansy and Thistle, maybe. Um, obviously, actually was with Tansy and Thistle for a few months successfully and then they started to bite her eye. So again, use a small space and a very controlled environment which I could keep an eye on them to bond them but they will be going up on the res rescue and fingers crossed um, have lots of fun in an aviary so anyway that's all my um, bunnies up at the hospital at the moment so I'd like to hear what you all think thank you